Google Docs is a service that lets you both write all your papers online and store them there, all without owning a copy of any word processing software. So this is the main Google Docs page and you log in with your Google ID. If you don't have a Google ID, you can create one here. So I'll sign in and you can see my Google Docs account. So you see here, it's like a great big inbox full of documents. Now um, you can look at it this way or you can do a preview view of it, which is kind of useful if you know sort of what it looks like, the document you're looking for. Or if you're a folder sort of person, you can create folders. You see here, creating a folder. And you can store any, you know, your documents in, in various ways, like by course or by year or both. Now, you can see I've got a lot of documents in here, and you may want to know about limits. Um, you technically have a gig, except there are some things that count and some things don't. So things that don't count are any document that you actually create in Google Docs. Um, if you upload documents into Google Docs, which I'll show you how to do, that actually counts toward your gig. So you can be creating documents in there for years and only have like 2% of your gig uh, used up. So that means that as long, as long as you're mostly creating stuff within Google Docs, you could have all four years of your content stored in one Google Docs account. So I'll show you how to create a new document. So you create new document and it brings you here to this um, simple word processing. It, it actually sort of feels like you're in using software even though it's a website. So here I can give it a title. And then I can uh, just start typing. And here you see I can uh, say that's really my, my header. So I'll make a heading. You get the idea. Um, works very much like um, uh, any, other, any other package, adding images, bullets, numbers. You can even do double spacing. So um, that's creating a new one. Let me show you uh, a page, uh, um, a paper I've already put in there so you can see I've sort of formatted this like you would. Um, looks great, right? So now let's say I'm, I'm, I'm ready to submit it. So how do I get it out of here, right? So if I come here to file and I can download as uh, a number of different file types. ODT you probably won't find you're using too much, but I can go into that if you're interested. Uh, PDF, great format for submitting your papers if your instructors uh, open to taking them, it'll produce a document that's exactly like what you see and it will look the same to your instructor too. So PDF is a great format. But if your instructor asks specifically, they want a Word document, they want dot .doc, Google Docs will produce that for you too. So you just download as a, as a Word doc and you submit that and you're good to go. So now so let's say you've started a document in uh, a word processing package like Microsoft Word and you want to bring it into Google Docs and work on it from there and store it there. You can do that too. So there is file and upload. And you see it's going to let me upload documents directly. Now um, you can actually uh, up upload any kind of document if you just want to use it for storage. There's some things that Google Docs can process. So you see we've got convert text from a PDF into Google Docs, which is kind of neat. Or you can just upload any dot doc will work well. Doc X is a little iffy, but if you're in dot doc, you're good to go. But as I said, for storage reasons, it's good to start in Google Docs if you're interested in using it. Now, the biggest dis disadvantage of using Google Docs is that footnotes don't come out properly, it, the way you'd expect a footnote to come out. You can see it's it's not really processing it like a page like you would in a traditional. Uh, word processing package. So if you need to do footnotes, this may or may not be your best bet. There are other options for you in that case, but if you're doing in, in text citation, then you're fine. Okay, so that's Google Docs. Uh, the biggest advantage of using a service like Google Docs for your papers is that you can move from your, your home desktop computer to a lab computer to a borrowed laptop or a friend's netbook, and you can still see all your own work. If your computer dies, your content is still accessible to you. Even if you're not comfortable writing all of your papers online, it's good to place them uh, somewhere to back them up. So check out Google Docs.